Hello you guys, today I'm going to be reviewing for you the Lego Ninjago Masters of Spinjitsu Oni Villains um, figure pack. So this is just a little, one of those packs that you get a couple of figures in, in this style of box. And it's the one where you get three and it is $13 instead of the sometimes 15 if you're getting um, four figures. And then this also has 36 pieces, forgot to say that, and we get, yeah, three figures which are pretty much just different variants of the same one. And anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna get right into these. So let's just go over the most basic one first. So there's this one right here, and it's it's just, it's very simple. Um, you'll see the same prints shown throughout all the different figures, but you get this, uh, really weird looking weapon right here, but I mean it's kind of cool with the sword used as like an axe sort of thing there. We have the Black Panther ears turned around to be more like horns there. It's interesting use of those. Um, giant teeth on the Oni face there with the purple eyes. Interesting. And then we have some armor there, which is the same armor that was used on the Sons of Garminon figures, but flipped around. Not exactly sure why they did that, maybe just to fit it in the uh, package better. And then some torso detailing there too with like a some sort of white ball necklace thing with a little tassel right there. And then a bunch of other detailing there too. Back head detailing there as well. And some more back torso detailing carrying on that same uh, white um, ball necklace thing. And anyway, that's pretty much it for this figure. And now I'm going to go on to the second most basic figure here. And that is the little Oni villain guy. So he also has an axe, but this one is more like an actual axe. And then he also has two swords in his back right here in the basic ninja armor piece that we've gotten for a long time. He has the little ninja mask piece, same face print as the other one, same horns, same torso. And then this one just has the short black legs. And anyway, that's it for the little Oni figure. And then last and probably the best one here, we have the Oni Leader, I'm gonna guess. He has the most basic weapon out of all of them. It's just kind of a little staff here. He has the horn pieces there, which were actually introduced as flames in the Chima line and uh, just recently used again in the um, Spider-Man Spider sets for um, extensions to Carnage and some detailing on Venom. And those are pretty good, like for the giant horns there. And then we do have the Oni mask reprinted and remolded in black with some nice detailing on it. And that is attached to the biker helmet just as they were in the Sons of Garmanon sets. Underneath that we do get the exact same face as we've seen on the other ones. Same torso, same leg, just the plain black legs. And we do get the same armor as the little Oni did. And two swords back there. And anyway, that's pretty much it for all these figures. And now let's take a quick look at the packaging here. So there's not really much to see here, I guess. It's just, it's very simple. They're all the same um, figures, pretty much, just slightly different. And that's a bit disappointing to me. Um, but, I mean, it's a nice way to introduce the Oni. And it makes me question if we're going to even be getting any March of the Oni sets for the actual season. But, I mean, yeah, it's an interesting way to introduce them with one of these. And they're all the same. And if they do make March of the Oni sets, I'm worried that this is going to be what they are, just all the same Oni figure. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say about this set. And yeah, I'm just going to say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.